There he is, live from Miami Beach. <laughs> hey. Where's your pop? Clubhouse. Forgot to put his Desinex. So, huh? The shit with Tony? Total debacle. And Pop, with his test of door, he's not doing anybody any good. Anything you could do to change your father's mind? I'm gonna try, John. I came all the way up here for that. You put your sunblock on? So, as you know, Dad, Tony Soprano came to visit me recently. I bought him dinner, we talked. I'm not sure I like that he did that end run. He's an old-fashioned guy, Pop, very allegorical. I don't think it was his intention to insult anybody. You're distracting me. I'm taking a mulligan. The problem here is I'm afraid that maybe you backed yourself into a corner, this HUD thing. Your insistence on the 40%. I remember, Carmine, even from the beginning, I felt 40 was a tad steep. Real hardhead, this soprano kid. And the ego. I tell you, though, when I first met him, decisive as he is, I would have been proud to call him my own son. Maybe there's a compromise here, then. There's always a compromise. It's a bit of a poseur, you ask me. Tony, he likes to talk the talk, I don't know. What? What did he say? His turf, his appraiser. Son of a bitch. Would they resod that green? No, you gotta give him some slack. He hasn't really been boss of a family very long. Family? I told you, they're a glorified crew. Whatever they are, Carmine, the Sopranos bring in a lot of cash. I've been close with Tony for a lot of years. On reflection, John, maybe that's the sticking post. Tony feels like your friends and not business associates. See? What am I always saying? I hate this fucking shit. Yeah.